Hello everyone and welcome to, um, oh man, I'm Wookie and I'm here with some more Dokkan. Um, the world tournament just ended, so I need to get back to grinding. So today is just going to be another very simple just grind. Because I need to spend my stamina on actually getting these Elder Kai's, or trying to get this and these medals to get Elder Kai's. So I'm just going to do this, talk a little bit, you know, have fun do all that good stuff. Uh, I hate this entire event. I don't understand how global people could have been happy that they received this. It seems like a... It's like the worst kind of event for me, because it's nothing but pure non-stop grinding on one specific node until the end of time, and you're doing it not because it's fun, but because it has something you want. But I guess, like, you could argue every grind thing is like that, but I like it when it's not. See, these kind of, like, events specifically... That was my parry, excuse me. These kind of events in particular are why I think Dokkan needs an auto mode, because there's no thought behind it. Absolutely no thought. It's just non-stop, like, killing Chaozu and Krillin. Until, like, the end of days with the exact same team over and over again. Like, I could do... I think I could win without doing a single super attack, but I'm not going to show that off because it'd be slow. And this is all about grinding fast, like grinding super fast, so I'm not going to do it, but you get my point. Dokkan needs an auto mode. And I think Dokkan would be fantastic. It also needs like the ability to... Uh, maybe this is just like... Um, you can tell when specifically I've been playing a lot of Dragalia Lost. Because something Dragalia does real good is that when you're done grinding an event, you can just go right back at it. And I think that's really for the best. Like, there's no reason for Dokkan to kick me back to the menu. If I'm already grinding for something, just keep me there. You know? It's little stuff like that where it really starts to show that Dokkan is four years old. And it feels like it was never meant to survive past four years, but hey, here we are. Dokkan still going strong, still hitting number one. Something Legends can't do. I was told that at one point, uh, Legends did hit number one. I can't confirm that, but it was before my time, but who knew? It's crazy to think about that a new modern game like Legends has trouble hitting number one, but then something like Dokkan. And also, you know, you can debate till the cows come home what's better Dokkan or Legends. I think the more fun playing game for me is Legends. But yet Dokkan constantly hits number one. It's crazy to me. Maybe it's maybe it's the shop itself. Who knows? Smarter men than me would know. I'd need to look into the business analytics of everything. But I don't know, it feels weird. <laughs> but maybe it's because sorry, excuse me. Uh, probably it's because Dokkan is so stupid old that it can get away with some of its more bullshit things. I think it and uh, Fake Grand Order constantly at number one. Fake Grand Order doesn't even tell you when it hits number one. That's At least Dokkan is like, here you go, here's hundreds of stones for getting us to number one. Fake Grand Order just goes, bleh, number one again. You fucks are here forever. Which is an approach. It's funny to think about. Because I shit on Dokkan a lot. Because it deserves it. But it's not the worst out there. There are definitely worst. I want to say death behavior out there. And Fake Grand Orders are right up there. With some of the worst just handling of players I've ever seen. Granted they give... You know, I don't know. I don't know, granted. Because their rates suck and everything else. But I guess every ecosystem for a gacha game is different. So that makes comparing them, you know, hard to do. Because when you try and compare apples and oranges, what you really find out is that oranges taste a specific way because of a specific way, and there was really no reason for the comparison. They're just both fruit. And Dokkan... What is Dokkan? Dokkan is the kiwi of gacha games. 
where I don't I don't like kiwis, but for some reason people buy kiwis a whole bunch. So there you go. What does that make? Great grand order. I guess it's like a a pineapple. No, because pineapples taste good. They are big though. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like they are like an apple, because but it's like an apple that you don't know has a worm in it until you've already been into it. There you go. That's what they are. If they were the fruit, of the fruit of the world. Dragalia is pineapples, because it's all just sweet. Let me change my tune after I pull for my dragon girl later today. We'll see how that goes. How's the grind going, by the way? The grind is going bad. The grind don't stop. Oh, God. So, yeah, like I was saying, Dokkan needs an auto mode. There's no reason it doesn't have one other than the devs either are saving it for like a big like, oh man, Dokkan now has auto mode. But I actually also think that Dokkan might never get an auto mode. It needs one, that's for sure. Um, but why it wouldn't get one is because it would trivialize over... Hmm, how much percentage of the gameplay would be trivialized by an auto mode? I would say 90%. Yeah, because you could argue some of the more recent Dokkan Fest modes you definitely need to be paying attention, but all the old ones you don't. And so... Hmm. Yeah, and then there's the... You have to balance into the fact of what if you have, um... You know, if you use mods, in which case... Well, to be fair, if you use mods and you have auto mode, you're just making their, their jobs for the people who cheat easier, right? Hmm. It's a hard, it's a hard thing to think and wrap your head around for sure. Even though I'm not 100 percent sure, go Frieza, just be the shit out of who are you even fighting right now? Oh, poor Krillin, you did not deserve that. <laughs> poor sweet Krillin, I knew they well. <clears throat> But as I was saying, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of logistics you have to think about. It's the same reason we don't get um, stamina tickets, and the reason why I think the stamina system. I don't know what's up with Dokkan and just having shitty like stamina system, because it takes an entire day for you to get your stamina back, unless it's a special event going on, in which case it takes less time. But then the fucking stupid ass. Grind point takes eight hours to grind back up again. Like, it's good. I won't deny that its existence is good. I fucked that up completely, didn't I? Can I save this? Please. I can't. That's what I get for talking shit. Um, oh no, it's it's weird. Um, yeah, I can't get one because of the World Tournament. And the World Tournament specifically gives you stones because you're going to use stones to get to number one. But if everyone just had stamina tickets, then you'd be fine. And so I don't understand why something like... Um, now I remember my point. Why something like the, the grind system is relegated to an 8-hour time like if it's already using the stamina that you're using. If it costs me 30 stamina, it shouldn't also cost me an additional fucking thing that because the cost is the extra stamina and i've i think i've read the arguments about why like oh no just look see it as a bonus like bitch it's not a bonus if i have to also use an additional 15 stamina in which case get rid of that stupid bar just keep it so that i can always just grind double because that's actually what i legit want like i just don't understand feels like people are trying to justify a good system and then not actually thinking about like oh no if you complain too much about it then like why does every good thing have to be a negative not every good thing has to be a negative but not every new thing that is good has no faults right there's no such thing as a perfect system and i think that if you start telling the devs like oh no this is perfect like that means that they don't ever have to change in which case we get the previous four three years of Dokkan the first three years where nothing ever changed and shit sucked. So that's what I feel. Like people need to learn not to constantly think that every good new thing that they add is perfect on the uh, 
on the front side. Because it's not... There's no such thing as a perfect thing. And too much of a good thing can also kill you, but, you know. You know what I'm saying is not that you have to be overly negative about everything, but you should be able to recognize when something good could be better. And I can't deny that it is a good system. I just want it to be better. That's what differentiates, um... Like, trying to think of, like, something that has flaws that is also good. Kind of like the Mortal Kombat movie. It's a good movie, but it also has a lot of flaws. It won't change the fact that I love it, and I think that it's fantastic. But if you're going to lie to yourself and say, like, this is on par with some of the most Oscar-winning movies, then you're just deluding yourself. Then you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And so, yeah, that's why you gotta constantly be looking at Dokkan to improve. Because not every improvement is a banger, and not everything hits it out of the park. I think some of their uh, improvements have definitely been like, yeah, no, this is exactly what the game needs at this moment, and there's no reason to change it. Uh, stuff like being able to sell what you get from the free-to-play gotchas. That's great. Like, there's nothing more that you need to add to that. Uh, but stuff like this stamina system is a good starting point, but it should be changed. If it never changes for the next four years, then people will, then this entire thing will have fucked up. All right, and I say that's enough grinding for today. Let's see if I'm able to buy anything from the shop. Can we end this on a good note? Can we end this with an Elder Kai bot? Nope. How many more do I need? Fuck me. Goodbye, everyone. Remember, don't play fucking Dokkan. Goodbye.